just two days to the much anticipated wedding of Afrobeat King Davido and his lover Chioma. The news of the joint custody battle between him and his first baby mama, Sophia Momodu, seems to have gotten much more messier. Now, you guys will cast your mind back. A few days ago, it was reported in the Punch newspaper that Davido has sued for joint custody of his first child, Imade Adeleke. Well, in that report, it was said that the reason why he wanted joint custody was because his baby mama, Sophia Momodu, has refused him access to his child, therefore forcing him not to be available or be there for her on her special days, like birthdays and all. Also, he said that Sophia had made very ridiculous and outrageous demands, and because he was not ready to play ball, she restricted him access to their child. Just a few moments ago, Pulse News 27, which is a media outlet, has gotten Sophia Momodu's stance on this whole matter. So this is what was put out. Sophia Momodu addresses allegations amid custody disputes in response to the one-sided article published by Punch newspaper on the 19th of June 2024 titled, David Adeleke seeking custody of their daughter. Sophia Momodu issues the following official statement to set the record straight. Sophia Momodu, through her legal representatives, urges journalists to verify stories before reporting skewed and unbalanced information to the public. Number one, relationship and financial support history. David Adeleke and Sophia Momodu were in a relationship from 2014 to 2017 and 2020 to 2022. During this time, David provided financial support for their daughter, covering school fees, rent, and other living expenses, including the cars mentioned in the article. Two, End of relationship. Sophia ended the relationship with David in July 2022. Since then, David has repeatedly threatened to make Sophia's life miserable if she does not make herself available to him sexually. Three, lack of contact and emotional support. David has not seen their daughter since July 2022 by his own choice. Sophia has never denied him the opportunity to see his daughter. He has not reached out on special occasions such as her birthday or Christmas for the past two years, which has left his daughter distressed and questioning why her father has cut contact with her. Despite this, David posts images of her on social media to falsely portray himself as a supportive and active father. Four, financial neglect. Since July 2022, David has not fulfilled his financial responsibilities towards their daughter, leaving her school fees unpaid. Her daughter's school has contacted him multiple times regarding the fees for the 2021-2022 school term and January 2023 with no response. Legal counsel was sought in February 2023, resulting in David's father, Mr. Adedeji Adeleke, eventually paid in their standing fees. Regardless of this neglect, Sophia strongly maintains that the most important support David can provide to their daughter is his presence and emotional support. Five, sole financial responsibility. Since July 2022, Sophia has solely shouldered expenses, including rent, living and traveling costs, healthcare and all other expenses related to their daughter. Failed mediation attempts. Two years ago, Sophia initiated efforts through her legal team to establish a formal co-parenting arrangement with David, but he and his lawyers have consistently refused to cooperate towards a mutually agreeable resolution. Instead, they have attempted to discredit and isolate Sophia and their daughter using David's social influence and network. Seven, access and harassment. Sophia has never denied David access to their daughter, only access to her body and intimacy, which he has taken issues with. David is in a publicly known relationship and Sophia wishes him well. She seeks to move forward in her life free from harassment and verbal abuse. Sophia Momodu refrains from further comments as the matter has escalated into a legal dispute. Despite facing threats and claims of immunity from Nigerian law, she maintains 
faith in the justice system and fully cooperates with the legal process. She hopes that the injustices and hardships faced by herself and their daughter will be exposed and justice served with all necessary documentation provided to back claims. Through this challenging situation, Sophia remains hopeful for a positive outcome where David actively participates in their daughter's life. The end. Wow. Okay, so this is a very interesting read. It opens a kind of worms. It opens our eyes to see some of the things and kind of like makes you to put two and two together to make sense to what has been written in the Pontius paper that David only had, you know, a relationship with Sophia from, I think, 2014, 2015 to 2017. Contrary to that, it's been stated here that David actually had a relationship with Sophia from 2020 to 2022. Now, if you will cast your mind back, that was the time, you know, the tragic event happened. That was also the time that there was a lot of rumors that David and Choma had had issues and that Choma has moved out of the house. Like if you guys go back to some articles back then, you surely see the story. So it kind of like now makes sense. And also she said, she does not deny that David has done those things that he said he did, but the time frame is what is being put in question here. According to her, these things David had done, he had done it when he was still in her bed sort of yeah that's why he was doing these things but when she said you know what i'm done shop has closed no more opening of leg i'm going to be co-parenting for the sake of this child but all the other intimacies and all that we are not going to be doing it anymore um the moment according to what is written here yeah the moment she's you know put a stop to all that that was the moment the support kind of like stopped so it was even so bad that David's father had to come in to pay for the school fees, I think 2021, 2022, and 2023, or 2023, sort of, you know? It's crazy. It's actually crazy. Now we have seen Sophia's side of the story it kind of like opens our eyes, even though a lot of people will not want to agree because trust Nigerians, bandwagon mentality, if you are famous and, you know, they see you as their idol, you can do no wrong, which is a very crazy concept anyways. But um, looking at everything that has been written here, you could see clearly that someone is not being entirely truthful. But I'm not citing anybody, right? David on paper online looks like a great father. I know I said in my previous video, which I did on the 19th, I said, oh, he's actually a great father. But I think I'll rephrase it to say on the internet, from what I see on the internet, he looks like a great dad. At the end of the day, all of them should come together to make the best decision for a Made. That girl needs both of her parents and she should not be in the midst of all this chaos. And again, I feel like this is all wrong timing. I was on the Pulse, you know, page on Instagram and people were like, oh, this Sophia, this, this, this. I'm like, can you please just shut up and realize that it was actually, you know, from David's camp that this whole thing came out, you know, a few days to his wedding, which is not supposed to be so. I mean, you are getting married. You filed a suit or whatever, April. Why didn't it come out in April? Why bring it out just a few days to your wedding? Like... It just doesn't make any sense. The timing is wrong. That's all I have to say about this. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. On that note, I'd like to say a very big thank you to you all for being part of my channel. If you have not yet subscribed, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video.